Ever since the consecutive theatrical releases and the big titles directly coming out online, there has been a dearth of what existed during the height of the pandemic, and that includes a genuine exploration of movies beyond the big releases. If you remember just a few years ago, while we were mostly stuck in our homes, there was an individual effort made by all of us to seek for content across languages, and this made many explore several industries beyond the Hindi language and understand their history and context. Other than the theatrical releases, I finished Rana Naidu after delaying it for many weeks. and i have to say that i struggled with the series to finish it in one go the remake of ray donovan set in the mumbai context would have accounted for an interesting series especially taking into account the casting of the uncle nephew duo of rana and venkatesh but i found the series to be largely inconsistent and bordering on being grotesque and graphic for the sake of it i cannot fault the performances of the two main leads rana dagupati as the formidable and stoic yet caring family man and venkatesh despite what conservatives found uncomfortable as the foul mouth naga was very convincing It was only that the long running time of 10 episodes tried to pack in so many subplots that included infidelity, addiction, sexual trauma, teenage angst and exploration, drug rackets and the filth beyond the surface that I felt the series took on way more than it could chew. You also do let me know your thoughts on the series and more importantly some recommendations beyond the Hindi language that you may have caught online or in theaters as the theatrical releases are back in action and one only looks forward to the big events there is a fall in the public really seeking out for films across the states digitally I after this weekend was genuinely missing the same zeal with which we explored content and wanted to tell you about what I came across industries recommendations and reviews that you will definitely not regret So without wasting any more time here is Tried and Refused Productions with top 5 non-Hindi Indian movies you need to watch and celebrate now. Number 5 goes to Vaati. One of the only movies in this list that led me to have mixed feelings rather than unanimously recommending it to you all is Vaati directed by Venki Atluri starring Dhanush and Samyukta in lead roles. The reason why I express it generated mixed feelings is because you can create several parallels from movies you have already seen. The movie is another collaboration that combines the talents of Tamil Nadu and offers them a template much like Telugu commercial cinema. So you've got a narrative on the education system of India but with the sensibilities of slow motion action set pieces and the inspirational speeches assisted by chest thumping background scores. You can easily see a cinematic treatment similar to that of Varasa and the plot does have a similar tone and pitch like that of Super 30 starring Hrithik Roshan. The education system being marred by corporatization and taking over government schools to create a monopoly has the ecosystem rotting from within. In sharp contrast to the monetary hungry system, a teacher inspires a generation of underprivileged kids and makes them believe that they too can dream. While the cinematic inconsistencies are something that can be debated as the movie creates a familiar hero villain template with the characters of Bala and Srinivas, but one thing that I cannot deny is that Dhanush is absolutely spectacular in this film. The story may fall to you but Dhanush never will. It may be cheesy in its overall quality but it will definitely leave you with moments that will make you have respect for an artist like Dhanush who can churn out gems and even make you weep despite the familiar tropes in the film's screenplay. Number 4 goes to Balagam. What the Telugu film audience is absolutely ecstatic about is that there seems to be a genuine interest from the audience to seek for compelling storylines versus star-led projects now. This is slowly building up and becoming the norm in the Telugu speaking states as a movie like Balagam has a respectable run at the box office and is loved digitally. The movie directed by Venu Yaldandi focuses on a family dealing with the death of a patriarch of the family. As more and more people appear to mourn his loss, the dynamics within the house gets explored, revealing several reasons for animosity or hatred among its members. I as a person who is not well versed with the personal dynamics of a Telangana household took some time to get used to the decibel level and pitch at which the members of the family interacted with one another. Egos being challenged, personality traits being dragged, one is in a constant mood to pull down one another, and it all is a product of the circumstances versus having ill will for one another. Vulnerability is expressed only when the pressure mounts, and this makes the takeaway from Balagam, especially in its concluding moments, even more special. Priya Darshi is the observer of the sheer chaos that follows, and the entire ensemble cast puts forth stellar performances. making for a film on love beyond the differences so special as the film explores themes of faith customs and the significance of family i could not help but ball my eyes out on the beautiful way it ended making for a very beautiful family watch that i could not recommend enough to you number 3 goes to ella vida punchera a movie for which i went with zero expectations but came out with so many takeaways was ella vida punchera directed by shahi kabir and starring sobin shahir and suddhi koppa in lead roles 
The movie focuses on two policemen stationed at a hilltop that is frequented by thunder and lightning. Their working conditions are far from satisfactory and one gets by despite the lack of activity. As an unfortunate incident occurs and a case opens, the station gets more than usual traffic and attention, leading to exploring several motivations and origin stories of the concerned officers that is bound to leave you in absolute shock. The movie is atmospheric to say the least. I am told by the Malayalam film audience that the big screen experience and the sound design by Ajay and Adit made it such an immersive experience. The vast landscape, the unpredictable weather conditions, the constant feeling of impending doom all create such a perfect atmosphere for a thriller. The cinematography by Manish Madhavan heightens this even further and with a running time of 1 hour and 42 minutes, trust me when I say this, you will be thrown off with the route that the film takes and Sobhan Shahir's intense performance, making me really appreciate its exceptional build up and attention to detail in its screenplay. Number 2 goes to Purusha Pratham starring Alexander Prashant Jagdish and Darshana Rajendran in prominent roles. This is a dark horse in terms of the recommendations for all of you because this film is masked as a dark comedy but eventually progresses to become an exceptionally adept crime thriller. It is not only funny and clever but is edited so inventively you're bound to get sucked in in the development of events. A body is found it is not recognized only for a grieving wife and her brother to claim that it might be a possibility the body is of her missing husband the case identity and the pressure on the police force with alexander prashant and jagdish at the helm of affairs makes this film one hell of a ride in several moments the way the creators extract humor from the most dire circumstances is a skill to be marveled at and trust me when i say this it may just be one of the most unique treatments of a film dealing with a police investigation you are bound to become a fan of sebastian's storytelling in this film and the music by ajmal hasbulla the way it's exceptionally integrated into the screenplay is something really praiseworthy this was such a pleasant surprise that is sadly going unnoticed by most number 1 goes to dada Hands down the biggest recommendation that I can give to you in this video is to watch Dada directed by Ganesh K Babu. A movie starring Kavin and Aparna Das in lead roles is a story that absolutely broke me. A story of fate, manifestation, growing up, the curveballs that life throws at you and compels you to persevere and what it means to be a man. I was worried while watching this film as it progressed and seemed to become like any other coming of age story, but Dada is so much more than that. A surprise pregnancy causes conflict and differences between a couple without giving much context the child is raised by a single father and why or how such circumstances transpired forms the premise of dada I can't help but mention on how the two leads share exceptional chemistry with one another and it really does act like the soul of the film its natural ability to make you root for their union this film is not just an emotional tale but of learnings of maturity of being a better person not masked with preachy dialogues or speeches but of how most character building is done with action when pushed to the corner and tested jen martin and his music will truly tug at your heartstrings it's another beautiful story of a low budget tamil film getting noticed by the mass is and it breaks this preconceived notion that only big scale projects are working with the audience i assure you you will be left in tears with this one it's moving and so beautiful and that was a video guys write down in the comments below whether you have some recommendations for the channel please don't forget to follow me on instagram the handle is right in front of you follow me at jammy pants4 also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead thank you for watching